Well, it's roughly four and a half hours drive time on paper. Sometimes that's not <laughs> reality, but four and a half hours roughly from Richland County to Duval County. So no surprise, a lot of Gamecock fans spending their post Christmas activities in Jacksonville. And that's where we find our Sam Perez, who gives us a look at how the Garnet and Black contingent looking to take over North Florida's coastal city. Sam. Reggie, we are here at a pep rally. Uh, we're at the tail end of it, and Gamecocks fans have been gathering to celebrate. Now, things are not just getting started, but South Carolina fans have been here celebrating all day. That is the sound of pure joy coming from Carolina Nation in the River City. Gamecocks have come in and taken over Jacksonville this week. Wes Hickman is the president of the USC Alumni Association. He's been working to prepare for fans from all over. We got people coming out of Chicago, Tampa, Charleston, Orlando, and Columbia themselves. And everybody's coming right down here to host. Ah, oh, it's so great to be, be able to host everybody here. And everyone really has shown out. We game we always, way. Me and my best friend and my family. Yeah, our first thought when we saw everyone, we were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, we, our fan base definitely showed out for this game. From cheerleaders like Vanessa Cooper to cocky and more alumni, thousands of fans are in Jacksonville for the Gator Bowl. Keep the faith, because we're going to win. And they're decked out in their Gamecocks gear. I'm going to start crying. I can't even explain the feeling. Like, just to represent and have Carolina on your chest is, like, absolutely such a blessing. That feeling can be summed up in just three words. I'm awesome, mind-blowing, and Gamecocks. Go Cox! Yes, go Gamecocks. Great job. Right. Now, the pep rally has kind of wrapped up, but there are still people around. The energy is high, and you can feel the excitement. Tomorrow, there's a tailgate at Metropolitan Spark Park starting at 1130, and another pep rally starting at 230 right before the game. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Sam Perez, News 19 WLTX.